Did you know that the Dragon Ball movies at one time were on Amazon Prime and Netflix? And I mean like the high quality Toei remastered versions. Unfortunately, you can't access them unless you have a Japanese account. But if you have a VPN service, you can get around that. And NordVPN offers a safe way to browse the web, protect your files, protect your encryption, as well as check out Japanese Netflix and Amazon and other streaming services too. And if you're visiting relatives this holiday season, it is a must that you protect your devices. Go to nordvpn.com slash geekdom to get a two-year plan at a huge discount plus one month free. Risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. All right, folks, so get ready for what's going to be a crazy week in the world of entertainment, not just because we have Spider-Man coming out later this year in most of the world, but also in the world of Dragon Ball and anime, Jump Festa is this week, and we're set to have more information come out about the new movie, possibly a trailer, possibly, you know, more stuff, and of course, we've got some more spoilers for um, the upcoming manga, but that's going to be later this week. Right now, we have the first draft, the first look at the draft pages for Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 79. I apologize this morning, I said Chapter 80. I don't know why I thought it was Chapter 80, but that's going to be in January. That's the next chapter, chapter 79, which is now being referred to. The, the name of the chapter is Gas versus Granola. That's what it's called. Now, before we get to the actual um, preview, which actually, not before we get to, let's get to it. So, um, but I always tell everybody, I always say, um, if you don't want, if you want to go into the manga without knowing anything, you know, this is not the video for you, but... There's not much here. This is an official preview of the first few pages, but there is something really interesting I want to get to that was discussed, um, it, you know, in this manga chapter. So, uh, or in this, I'm sorry, in this page on the official Dragon Ball site about this manga chapter. So, we had been wondering about Alex's wish and if maybe there was some kind of asterisk behind it, but there's something I want to confirm right here. This is written directly on the official Dragon Ball website. It says, Chapter 78 saw the shadowy organization, the Heaters, finally make the move. Having assembled Planet Serial's Dragon Ball's gas wish to suppress Granola and become the true strongest warrior in the universe has been fulfilled. So, that, <coughs> excuse me, that confirms 100% that gas did wish to be the strongest we we're talking about maybe the wish was something else maybe you know stronger than gas at a girl at the time or something similar um but no it looks like the wish is actually fulfilled in the sense of gas i mean we knew gas was stronger we knew that but maybe you know maybe alec made a different kind of wish you know we don't because we didn't see the wish on screen uh or on panel whatever you want to call it however one thing we don't know still is we don't know what the sacrifice was. Granola had to sacrifice his life, years, years off his life to get the power of the strongest. What did Gas have to sacrifice? Was it the same thing or was it something else? That's the mysterious answer that we do not have, at least going into chapter 78. It goes on to say, Com confronted with such overwhelming power, our heroes seem utterly hopeless. Their last chance of survival now rests in a single senzu being that remains. Of course, we know that Vegeta wants Granola to eat the senzu and to power up and to really take out Gas. Because the idea now is that even if Gas is stronger, Granola might be a better fighter. Or is that really the idea? Can Granola really improve his power with one Senzu? Remember, a Senzu does not give you more power. It just puts you back to your max strength. That's what it's supposed to do. Is this going to be enough? Let's talk about Chapter 79 uh, right now. Here are the draft pages. Of course, they're unfinished. So I'm going to try and zoom in here for you guys. Um... We're going to go back to this in just a moment, but it looks like, you know, we're going to, again, we're going to go back to all of this, but what I wanted to really point out here is it looks like, and here's kind of where we left off with, uh, and this is the image that came out this morning with Vegeta and Granola. Granola, of course, taking the Senzu. Here we have him eating the Senzu and going back up to full power. Vegeta, of course, you know, explain to him, this will re regenerate you, give you your power back. You know, not literally regenerate, but you know what I mean, give him his power back. 
And um, I want to show y'all real quick his granola being a badass. I mean, he just, you know, they try to step to him, the heaters do, and granola's just like knocking him away like nothing, yo. So I guess they all try to jump him before gas does. Here we have gas holding a spear. This dude has got a spear, and, and he's he's got Goku up by the shirt. That's a pretty awesome scene right there, yo. I cannot wait to see the colored version of that when that comes out. But Granola, being powered up by the Senzu, is just throwing the heaters around like candy. You know, it's like nothing to him. But look at the serious-looking Granola's face. This is something I've been looking forward to for a long time, because now Granola is back in the game. He's serious, and he's pissed off. Um, this is the, the manga image I want to use right here. Notice they zoom in on Granola's eye. Um, there's something about his eye that, and we talked about this a lot, how the Cerellians have like a mysterious eye that gives them more power and, and sharp shooting sights, of course, for the sniping. I love this panel right here of Granola powering up. I cannot wait to see this in fluid animation. I cannot wait to see this colored because it's Granola powering up to face off against Gas to really see who the strongest is. And here's Gas looking over like, oh, well, maybe now I got to take this seriously. So Granola is going to be the hero, but that's kind of the way it should be. This is the Granola arc, Granola the Survivor arc. It is the story of Granola being a hero. That's what this is, ladies and gentlemen. So the idea of Goku and Vegeta being like the sidekicks to Granola makes perfect sense for this arc, yo. And having him do the Goku role, like what Goku did on Namek and against Nappa and Vegeta, to me makes perfect sense that this is his story. Especially after we found out that his mom was killed by Alec. That changed the game right there because now we know that Granola is truly, you know, yes, he was obviously an angry guy. Yes, he was not really a protagonist during the first half of this arc or the first whatever year, most of the year of the arc. But now he's fully come into being, you know, the top babyface, to use a wrestling term, in the arc. That's what he is. So I want to go back up to what was going on early in the manga chapter because we have some Elec stuff here. I want to go through some of the translations. I want to go through some of the translations uh, from Herms. So let's talk about what's going on here because there's some very interesting statements made by Elec. Um, Herms goes on to write, Elec says Gas seems to have become the best in the universe, but he decides to keep the ship where it's at rather than head to the battlefield since he doesn't want to get dust in his wine. Uh, the overconfident bastard Elec is uh, truly, truly a villain. Truly a villain. Oh, I got a subscriber. That's nice. I forgot to turn that off. Anyways, um, moving on. Herm says, Meanwhile, Mackie and Oil threaten Monaito to tell them where Vegeta's gone. In fact, he's given a send to Granola. Granola can't believe something like this could heal him instantly. Vegeta says, Go, don't waste it. Which is weird because I don't know what he means by go, don't waste it. The, the effects of the Senzu don't just go away over, over time. I guess he wants gas. I mean, I guess he wants Granola to just go in there and just smash these dudes, which I think we all kind of want. But the, the Senzu, like, the Senzu bean effects, you know, they don't, like, they, they don't, they don't go away like that. Like, not fast, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm not really sure what Vegeta meant by that, but maybe he's just trying to get him out there to encourage him more than try to rush him. You know what I mean? That's what makes the most sense to me. Herms goes on to write, Granola arrives to save Monaito, who gives him back his partner, um, Oatmeal, who, yes, Oatmeal is around. We should have mentioned that over here. Um, don't throw me away again, <laughs> uh, the Granola's boy. We were wondering about that. Well, what happened to Oatmeal? Oatmeal says, and asked if Granola can no longer no longer needs him now that he's the best in the universe. No, I still need your support. Granola answers, putting Oatmeal back on. I, I yeah, and that was the whole eye thing that we talked about earlier with the with the Oatmeal thing. It was interesting because I thought it was maybe his own eye doing that, but uh, I didn't even notice that it was Oatmeal initially. Initially, I didn't even notice that, but I really like that. I like the fact that it's almost like. It's almost like a fun reunion. They haven't been apart for very long. Maybe a couple of uh, a couple of chapters, right? Maybe three, four chapters at most. 
it, it feels like longer because it's been so many months and we had like the Bardock flashback and the, the gas thing and the ultra ego. But, uh, yeah, it's cool that they're kind of, I, I guess you could say reunited to now battle ga uh, gas. And now we have the full focus of oatmeal and granola together, working together to face off against, um, the heaters. So, you know, that's awesome. I mean, I personally think that's awesome. Gas can tell that Granola is fully healed and wonders now what happened. Save this in the previous, hits on the previous page. Then Granola powers up and if the chapter titles ain't the same, they start the fight. So, yeah, I think that's a pretty good teaser of, of things to come. Obviously, the way that Toyo's Heart was writing this, he's purposely writing the first few pages of each chapter to kind of be done in this way to give us teasers for what's to come. He's not going to go into anything huge in them, and that's just the way it's going to be. This is all, like, done a specific way for a specific reason that is marketing so we will have more spoilers within the week probably this weekend but this weekend's going to be full of coverage of of you know dragon ball super superhero i might do a stream this weekend we're going to be streaming after the chapter comes out so there's going to be a lot of content here on the channel subscribe if you are new hit the like button right now but i want to know in the comment section who's going to win this fight gas or granola because now we know for sure what's going on, and I want to know who is going to win, in your opinion. I know it's an early prediction. We're probably going to know in the middle of the week, guys. Um, maybe not too soon, but maybe within four or five days, we'll know for sure, uh, based on spoilers. We may not. There's no guarantees, but subscribe, and you'll get all the information here on the channel. Best coverage possible here on YouTube. Thanks again. Have a great day. I'll talk to you all soon. Take care of yourself.